Hey guys, welcome back to the video. In the last few videos, I told you how I'll be building a bunch of side projects going on. And we built our very first weekend side project, which is called practicegmat.com. Now practicegmat.com, the idea for it came because a bunch of my friends were giving GMAT the exam and uh, they were just finding it hard to find past question papers and past questions. So we thought of building a simple tool that gets every single question in the last few years from the internet, puts them in a nice, beautiful interface. And we thought it'll be fun to give it to our friends and also for some of you to use it. So we have built it, we have launched it, and I have dropped the link in the uh, section down below. So if you are giving GMAT or if some of your friends are giving GMAT, crazy, please share it with them, that'll mean a lot. And uh, in today's video, more specifically, we'll be talking about the designing part of practicegmat.com, about how my friend Vineet, who designed it, went about it, how do you think about it, and if you are someone who's building site projects, how should you think about designing, what tools you should be using, and um, he'll just be guiding you through that. So that's pretty much it. From now onwards, Vineet is gonna talk, and I hope you like it. So even before you get into, uh, even before you get started designing anything, first let's try and validate if this is a problem that people are facing. If you do, if you go ahead and build out the product, will people use it? We went ahead and spoke to our friends who were answering GMAT or who had, uh, who had bought a bunch of books, who had uh, bought a bunch of question papers to so uh, practice their exams. And we found that this was actually a problem that people were trying to uh, people were dealing with uh, resources. There was a huge lack of resources out there, and uh, most of the resources were gate kept, and uh, there was a huge paywall behind them. So we we understood now that we've understood. Yeah, this is a problem that people are facing, and we need to solve for it. Uh, we thought, let's why not try build an MVP and validate this uh, prob uh, validate this idea next steps what we did is we sort of uh, went ahead and looked for inspiration uh, so there's gmat.com there was mba.com there was magoosh and a bunch of other uh, we even benchmarked uh, against other uh, just quiz quiz applications just to get a hang of how the user experience is uh, we collected all these screenshots collected a bunch of uh, recordings and uh, sort of understood what the standard is for a quiz taking platform once we had gotten an understanding of that we sort of built a user journey for it, a very plain, dumbed down user journey of a person. Uh, how would they go about it? So this was the rough user flow that we, user journey that we had created where the user comes on the home screen and they select the subject, they configure the test and they go ahead and start the test. You don't need to go ahead, uh, you don't need to make any fancy flows as long as everyone in your team understands what you're building and just it's enough for you to get started. The designs, before we got into making the designs, uh, I chose, we chose to use a library. A library such that uh, even while we chose a library such that it would help us in dev uh, development as well. So I chose uh, ShadCN, where ShadCN had a, a library on Figma, a Figma community. And uh, using Claude and using Cursor and V0, building out the platform would have also been very easy. So, so quickly, within a matter of days, we were able to design the platform, uh, design the high fidelity designs using ShadCN's component library. So this is how a Figma looked. It's pretty messy. Uh, that's how it should be, at least when you're validating and not sure if it's going to work out or not. You just want to quickly get the designs out there. The, uh, this Once we had sort of aligned on one specific design and a specific flow, just quickly arranged them in a section and kept it ready to refer to. Uh, this was the home screen, this was the configure screen, and these were the question and answer screens. This was the component library we use, ShadCN. You can get it off the Figma community. You can just search for ShadCN and you'll get it. You don't have to stick to ShadCN. There are a million other libraries out there on Figma that you can just use to get components, button components or type uh, or like font scales, what should be a body font or maybe headers or footers or anything like that. And this is how we had benchmarked our designs or uh, we had refer for inspiration for onboarding, how should our onboarding look like, how are others doing how a home screen should look like or how others are making the home screen look like 
how are others questions looking like and uh, these are a bunch of other inspiration that we looked at and this is how our final designs look like after we have after we were done with all our research and everything collated all of our designs in one small section and have kept them here that's pretty much it guys happy designing good luck out there